In the world of web hosting, there's a lot of options for you to pick from, especially paid ones. But what about those that are free? It seems that with whatever service pops up, there's always going to be a free alternative, though they tend to be overlooked and might have limitations on things that hold people back from using them. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at three different web hosting platforms that are free and see what the catch is. So free hosting is the first option that we have. It's really straightforward since the onboarding process is hassle-free, requiring no credit card information for verification. It also has a swift account approval time of around 10 minutes, allowing you to quickly dive into website development. What they offer is a basic control panel, 10 gigabytes of storage, and unlimited bandwidth catering to the needs of the majority of websites. Not to mention that integration with WordPress is seamless and users can even connect a custom domain at no additional cost. However, a notable drawback is the requirement to own a legitimate domain name. Subdomains or free domains aren't supported. The site's performance is fine for a free hosting service but lags behind paid alternative. Freehosting.com also monetizes through add-ons, selling services like mailboxes and subdomains at comparatively high prices, so not everything is as great as it seems. Next up is Infinity Free, which offers an enhanced free hosting experience, boasting additional perks such as SSL certificates and cPanel access. The absence of credit card requirements and verification simplifies the onboarding process. Infinity Free grants unlimited storage, bandwidth, and features like add-on domains and subdomains, though despite the feature-rich offering, users must contend with pervasive ads across the control panel and website impacting the overall user experience. And Infinity Free's terms of service raise some eyebrows, as they reserve the right to sell user and visitor data for various marketing purposes. And while the hosting is free, users pay with the potential privacy compromises. And the third one, Triple O Web Host, is actually a part of a very well-known web hosting platform called Hostinger. So Triple O Web Host provides free hosting, but with a unique twist. Because interestingly, it allows you to show adult content. But um, as great as that might be, for some, everyone faces a stringent 300 megabyte storage limitation. I mean, their automated tools ease the process of setting up a website, but the storage limitation can be a significant drawback for anyone with larger content needs. Triple O Web Host automatic verification streamlines the sign-up process, but users should be wary of the lack of warnings before exceeding storage limits, which can result in data loss. So while it may be suitable for simpler websites and even supporting free domains from, Triple O Web Host might not be the ideal choice for complex sites due to its storage complaints. So it's apparent that even with free hosting platforms, you're always going to lack something or pay for it in other ways raising the question of whether or not it's actually doing you any favors. Because if you consider Hostinger, for example, they offer feature-filled plans that include things such as free domains, SSL certificates, WordPress integration, and 100 gigabytes of storage for just $2 with their premium web hosting plan. Their H panel is also a modern version of the C panel that is faster and optimized for Hostinger to make accessing different parts of the website a real breeze, not to mention their AI website builder alongside WordPress integration. The only catch though, to get the prices you see here, you'll just have to go into the description below and click on the link there because it instantly applies a site-wide discount that isn't readily available on their sites. So considering what you're getting up front in comparison to the pay-as-you-go systems with the other platforms, you're getting better quality and a non-invasive service. And with that, we wrap up this video. Hopefully you got a better idea of what's out there in terms of free web hosting platforms and now you can weigh your options accordingly. You can also visit that link to see if you like Hostinger and if it suits your needs. If you did like the video though, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel so we can help more folks with their web hosting needs. As for now though, that is all from me. Until next time, take care and I will catch you then.